In a previous video, we showed how to add a set of numbers where each number was on a separate line. What if the numbers are all on the same line? For example, here we have file 2 here, that I made them a few moments ago, uh, which consists of uh, 10 numbers, each separated by a blank, on one line. All right, how would we write the program? Normally, of course, mumps variables read an entire line, so we're going to have to do that. And I brought in the old program. So in the old program, we read a line in, then uh, we read multiple lines in until we got end of file. In this one here, we don't want to do that. We want to I'll leave that up and edit it in place. We read, need to read the entire line in. That reads the entire line in. Uh, we can get rid of, well, I don't know. We want to leave that there for a moment. All right, now we've got the line in. What we need to do is cycle through the values on the line. And we'll use a for loop for that as well. For i equals 1 by 1 um, set uh, x. Well, we don't want to use x. Set, um, let's call it uh, k equal to dollar sign piece of a delimited by a blank, and it will be the ith piece. Uh, I'll explain that in just a second. And then we will say quit if k equals empty string, two blanks. Otherwise, we will say set x equal to x plus k. Now I can get rid of this up here. All right, so what do we do? Well, what happened here is we read the entire line in with all of the values on it. And then we started cycling through it, extracting pieces from the line. Now the piece, this is a function in mumps. Functions in mumps begin with dollar signs. The piece function takes a string as its input, A, and separates it into parts based on a delimiter. Now in this case, the delimiter, the second argument, is a blank. Okay, so the third argument is which piece. In our case here, we have 10 separate pieces, each delim delimited by a blank. So I will ask for the first piece, the second piece, the third piece, and so forth, until I ask for the 11th piece, which won't be there, and that will return an empty string, and I will cause the loop to terminate. Otherwise, for each piece I get, I add it into my sum x, and uh, we proceed pretty much as before. Likewise, from before, i will be 11, and we want to back it off by 1 back to 10. And we can write out the, uh, the answer. So, does this work? And we will say, first of all, chmod um, user plus x add 3, whoops, not mumps. That makes it executable. So if I say add three dot mumps and give it file two as input, hmm. Oh, we forgot to do the dot slash. I'll leave this in here as a lesson. There's the answer, same as before. So what it did, again looking at add three dot mumps, uh, we extracted pieces from the line delimited by blanks and the, the piece we got, the i is first piece, second piece, third piece and so forth until we ran out of pieces, the loop quit, we decremented i and we printed out the results.